I do, hope you're doing well. Oops, I did it again. My lovelies, I can't do a season without going to Lush. And as I am filming this, and as this will be going live, the Christmas stuff is already out. Okay, yes, I repeat, the Christmas stuff is already out. Wow, okay, wow. I am filming this end of September, and I have had a sample of Snow Fairy put in my bag. I have seen it all over online, and Christmas is here. The end of September. And Christmas is already here. Don't worry, my lovelies, by the time this is going up, I think this is going up whilst I'm on holiday, you will still be able to get it because I think it all runs until the end of October. But I have two bags filled with goodies. We've got bath bombs. We've got shower gels. We may have another lip scrub. We've got a face mask. There's bubble bars. We've got everything. So, I mean, of course, get comfy because let's get underway with... Our traditional Halloween Lush Haul for 2022. <laughs> As you can see, I have got my uh, Sand and Fog Haunted Harvest burning away because it is chilly, okay? It is C to the H to the I -L -L Y, chilly. So candles are a must. I've just got a, it's quite a high flame on this one. So I've just got to uh, be careful. But look, I thought how fitting a Haunted Harvest and just look at the uh, decoration on it. This was Home Sense or TK Maxx. Can't remember which one. Smells lovely. And as I say, it's keeping me warm while it's a little bit chilly, okay? Right. I know I'm going to get messy, which is why I always choose to wear, like, black tops or stuff that is going to get messy, which I shouldn't probably wear. This top, my lovelies, if you haven't seen my Shein Autumn Haul, because I think there's going to be a Shein Halloween haul. I don't know if that's going up before or after this. But if not, keep an eye out. My Shein Autumn haul pumpkin spice latte t-shirt. You didn't have to tell me twice. I love this. You did not have to tell me twice. Right. I'm going to get everything prepared. Because you know once we start, I just end up getting a bit messy. And then it all goes to pot, doesn't it? So let's get everything out. As it is. Oh my god, my lovelies, we've even got a candle. Completely forgot about that. Right. So, we have a new bath bomb. I haven't seen this on the previous years. It's called I Want My Mummy. Okay? I Want My Mummy. And it is £3.50. So, it is on one of the more affordable sides of bath bombs. £3.50, don't get me wrong, is still expensive. I have noticed that some of the bath bombs, to say, from previous years have gone up 50p a pound. So these are still definitely something for a treat. Like, I wouldn't just whack a £3.50 bath bomb in for a midweek bath. All of these, they're weekend baths. They're like special occasion baths when you just want to chill out, you know? So I Want My Mummy is unwinding with a sweet, calming soak. And you know what? It kind of reminds me of, like, talcum powder. Talcum powder and like baby powder, very, very fresh. I mean, it is cute, ain't it? And on the back, it's got like little bits of blue in it. So I don't know if whether when it goes in the water, you get streaks of blue. I'm not entirely sure. With these, my lovelies, you'll probably see them in my Halloween vlogs or just general vlogs and daily bits to bobs. When I have my baths, I will be using these as a special occasion. But yeah, £3.50. As I say, you used to be able to get bath bombs, I think, from like £2.50, the butter bowl you used to get. But I've seen at Christmas they've got butter bear. It's a pink version, and that's gone up to £3.50, I think. So that's like a pound added from last year, if I remember correctly. So things are going up, unfortunately, and it's not, not good, my love. It's not good at all. So, oh, this is a returning favourite. Oh, my God, ghosty. If you remember this from, I think it was last year and potentially the year before, Ghosty is just fabulous. It doesn't look much from just looking at it. However, when you put it in the bath, oh, it says a citrus boo to uplift spirits. And that is definitely what it is. So as I say, it doesn't look much, but inside you see all these colours, my lovelies. When that goes in the water, it creates just like this little rainbow effect. Oh, it's delightful. 
Ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Did you stay the same price? Four fifty. See now, I think last year he was three fifty. <coughs> you know when you inhale sometimes something too much. It is a lovely scene. It is quite considerably um, thicker than the mummy bath bomb. Four pound fifty. I'm sure you was three fifty. Maybe four pound last year. So as I say. Stuff is going up. We need to be careful, my lovelies. But the Christmas stock, oh my God, there is a lot more new in Christmas stock that I've seen. I won't be dealing with that until I'm back off my holiday before any orders are placed. But yes, oh my God, this is new. When I say new, technically it is, technically it isn't. If you remember last year, my lovelies, they'd done a candle for Snow Fairy which I haven't burned, it's still sitting up on my little decoration because I didn't know if they was going to do any more and I didn't want to burn it just on the off chance. Well, I've got a candle that they're doing for their Halloween range and it is in the scent of Lord of Misrule, which if you remember is what I picked up last year, the deep dark green one. Oh, it's lovely. So this little candle, my lovely, is to say Lord of Misrule. I got it last year in Snow Fairy. And this was £12. So this is the same price as last year because I remember Mama G picking up Snow Fairy and saying, it's 12 quid, but it's not that big. It isn't huge, but I think you're paying for the branding and the scent. But it is a lovely, fresh scent. Kind of like a... It's got like a medicinal twang to it, you know? I don't quite know best how to explain it. If you smell it or you've seen any of their products, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it's like a fresh medicinal scent. You know, like, not antibacterial, but like tea tree vibes. Oh, absolutely love that. And oh my goodness, Canon. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Canon, why are you flashing at me already? We're not even halfway through the first bag. Ay, yeah, yeah. Right, my lovelies, let me change this battery and I'll be right back, okay? That's better. Hopefully no more interruptions for this video, please, Canon. Oh, and as we say that, Mr. Glade or Airwick goes off. Never going to learn, are we? Right. What else have we got? This is new. When I saw this, I just instantly thought of Monsters, Inc. If you're a 90s baby, you will know what I mean. This is called Cyclops. And is it correct? Yes, I believe it is a bubble bar. Ow, I just hit my elbow. <laughs> We're not having a great start to this video, are we, my lovelies? So this is Cyclops, and it says a wide-eyed passion fruit bubbles. Oh, it's just so adorable. Very, very tropical passion fruit vibe. So as you all know, with bubble bars, you literally just run it under for however much you want and then pull it out. Or sometimes I've seen people, they just, like, take bits off and crumble. That is very nice. Very fruity. Almost like... A summer's day, but when you look at it, it's the little Cyclops. And the Cyclops for 100 grams was £5, which I don't think is too bad, you know? It smells delightful. It's a decent little size. I reckon you would probably get about four baths out of that, I would say, if you crumbled it or just run it little bit by little bit because you don't need a lot with the bubble bars. With the bubble bars, you literally just hold it under and the amount of bubbles that come from it if you've ever had the candy cane one at christmas you'll know a little goes a long long way trust me my lovelies we've got that i did have a little bit of a nightmare i unboxed it all and was putting it all in the bags because when you order online you don't get the bags that they go in now because it's eco-friendly packaging and everything like that you just get them in the box partitioned with dividers and it's like that um they're like little worms, but if you put them under water, they disintegrate. And I was going through and I was like, I'm missing something. I am missing something. And unfortunately, I was. So I'm still going to tell you about it because if you see it in the store, definitely go and give it a go. It was another bubble bar and it was called Bubble Lugosi. You see there, my lovelies. It's kind of like a little vampire and it says a glowing berry foam, which I'm kind of gutted about. He was six fifty, so he was slightly more expensive than the Cyclops one. So I'm thinking he's slightly larger. I might see if while I'm on holiday, if mum's out and about and she sees him to potentially pick it up. And then I could show you that in, say, a Halloween vlog or anything like that. But yeah, 
Bubble Lugosi, Lugosi, a glowing berry foam for £6.50. As I say, unfortunately, it wasn't quite in there, but at least I've got one bubble bar to try. At least we have one. Now, did I need this? No, because looking at my little stand already, when I changed over my skincare, I've got my one from last year, which was a trick or treat. And that was a sour one. So this year is Vampire Kisses. And it's sour again, but it's sour grape flavour and sweet sugar crystals for lips to die for. So last year it was kind of like an aqua bluey green. And this year, all canon, don't focus on my hand, it's kind of gone for the same purple packaging, but it's more of a blue tone inside. Oh. Oh my God, what is that? That has just taken me back to like being a child and I don't know why. What is this? You never used to get like sour dib dabs, did you? Oh my God, my love, Liz. Look at that. I'm actually going to, you can ingest it. Obviously, don't sit here and eat the whole pot. I just want to get a little bit. I'm going to have to get it on the back of my nail. Oh, my God. Or is it an ice pole that I'm thinking of? The smell instantly. And the taste of it now, I'm thinking it could be, don't tell me it's one of them. You used to get the really long, thin ice poles that were like 10p back in the day. It's not that surely. One more just for like, um, I don't advise just eating it like this. It potentially could be. I'm definitely feeling like it's an ice lolly now as opposed to like a sweet or something. Ooh. So another one. You know me, I love my lip scrubs. And lip scrubs, I think, $6.50, they've stayed the same price. So these haven't gone up. I think it's just partly some of the little bath products have. The shower gels are still the same price as they. It's just I noticed on the bath bombs. But, oh, yes, Vampire Kisses. I'm going to... I'm going to have to swap you out with Trick or Treat because Trick or Treat is sour apple. That's very sour. There's not actually a lot of that left. So I think, should we just dunk that one on top? Yeah, oh, it's a slightly different version of purple. This year is more kind of like a plum. Let's just say more of a plum. I love lip scrubs. My love is if you had to go to Lush for one product or one, say one range of products, would it be bath bombs shower gels or like skincare i would class that skincare because as much as i love the bath products i do actually really rate them for the especially lip products i have got a new skincare product in here as well which i think you're going to be very excited when you see it because i saw it i just had to have it um they did have a new pumpkin sheet mask it was five or six pound i believe however when I read up on the reviews, people said, like, don't bother. Apparently, when you peeled it off, it literally just ripped. So I didn't really want to waste my money on something, I say, because I always do check the reviews, and the reviews on this weren't too good. However, do let me know down below if you have tried the pumpkin mask. Does it rip easy? Is it worth it? Because, say, if you say it's worth it, I'll give it a go. But just from what I saw online, I was a bit like, oh, I'm not going to quite go for that. So that is one bag done. Oh, no, it's not. I thought we was a bag down. What's this? Oh, okay. I kind of must have been really loving the Lord of Misrule. Because I can't get the shower gel, because I've still got half a bottle left, I've also got a bath bomb. Lord of Misrule bath bomb. So this was £5.50. And it says the original spicy green reveler. Right, I need to be very careful because this looks like it's cracked. And I can't be having a bath bomb crack all over me. So it's just kind of like a standard egg shape. And it's got this claw around it. Which I'm not too sure. Or could that be a crown? Could be a crown perhaps? It is a very unusual scent, Lord of Misrule. I'm not going to lie to you. 
I say it is like a tea tree medicinal sweet concoction. What do they actually say for Lord of Mistral? Citric acid popping candy, black pepper oil, patchoula oil, vanilla and gardenia extract. Has this got popping candy in it? Shut up if that's got popping candy in it. Oh wow, well if it has, I am excited. £5.50. I don't think that's too bad, my lovelies, because it is quite a good size bath bomb ball. Just got to make sure. I mean, my jeans, thank goodness, they're going in the wash because uh, they're getting quite covered, to say the least. But now, my lovelies, I can say, that is one bag done. Let's get in with the other bag, which has quite a few new products in. <laughs> Right, so, shall we kick it off with a shower gel? We always know if there's a new shower gel, your girl's got to try it. Normally, the orange ones don't come out until the Christmas season. However, we have a new one. This, my lovelies, was £14 for 219 grams. That is the same price as they have always been. Um, there is a smaller one, I think, for 7 or 8 and then I think in this one you could get a 500 grams. The only thing I will say, Snow Fairy. The Snow Fairy litre, if I remember correctly from last year, used to be 26 or 28 pounds. It's now 33. That is a big jump. A big jump indeed. So I don't quite know if I'm going to ask for the big one this year. Because normally, if, say, I get it in a haul, mum will always put the big one away for me for Christmas. But then again, I bet you they've put up the 500 grams so that it still works out better to get a big one if, obviously, you like the scent. But, yeah, I'm sure it was 26 to 28. So even if it was 28, to go to 33, that's a £5 increase. That is steep, I think. Steep indeed. But anyway, my lovelies, I got a 290 of blood orange. It says, many fresh oranges were harmed in making of this shower gel. I mean, that's lovely to know, ain't it? Lovely to know indeed. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, that's just like a bottle of Sunny D. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot wait to slather myself in that. I actually cannot wait. Part of me wants to take it on holiday. Part of me thinks I might actually take it on holiday. It's the perfect fresh, but it's got a little bit of spice in it. It does taste like, taste like, it smells like autumnal and that. But as I say, fresh orange peel, yes. Fresh orange juice, lemon juice, bergamot oil, divana oil, loads of oils, loads of acids, linalool, whatever that is. I think this could be a holiday contender. Wow. If you go past the Lush and you're like me and you think, Shan, I don't need any more shower gels, please just go and smell it. Please go and smell blood orange. And now part of me wishes that I'd have got the big one. It's always the way. And uh -huh. Squeaky chair's back. My lovelies, I've got to get this chair sorted out in the new year. Got to get it sorted out. Right, what have we got here? Oh, this is a new one. As I say, they did have a few new ones for Halloween. There's a lot more new ones for Christmas. But this is Bigfoot. Bigfoot, milky, salt-rich hydration. And Bigfoot was... Da -da -da -da, £4.50. Now... The colour wave of this reminds me of one they done last year, but in a normal like sphere ball shape. That is very large for 450. I would say that I think that is worth it. If you remember last year, let me know. I'm sure they done this colour wave of like the pinks and blues in a ball, like a round sphere. Very calming, which you might think for looking at it. It's very out there and very bright and colourful and eccentric. But milky salt rich hydration, you definitely get the milk vibes. It's kind of like soothing as in a butter bear. 
But with this, you're not going to get the lovely, calm, milky water. You're going to get bright water with that. Oh, my jeans have just got all of that fluff on it. Oopsie. We'll just dust that off, shall we? <laughs> what have we got? Ah, this is a returning favourite, but this has gone up. So this, where are you, where are you? Is the Pumpkin Pumpkin Bath Bomb. This is a fiver. Now, last year I think this was £4.50. And the year before that, I remember I think it was like 3 50 So every year they seem to be adding 50p or a pound to it. However... This is just like the epitome of lush Halloween classic. I can't not get it. Uplifting orange squash, and that is indeed what it is. It turns the bath water fantastic. A fantastic. Sorry if I'm going like that. I hate the feeling of like um bath bombs on my skin. I love them, but not the textures. Um it's definitely, definitely a favourite. And as I say, we've crept up now, it's a fiver. And I feel personally it's got a little bit smaller. Why is it that everything goes up in price and the quantity gets smaller? Nothing ever goes up in price and you get a little bit more for your money, is it? No, it's always either the same or less. We don't need that negativity, do we? Right, this is a new product, new product alert, new product alert. Mr. Pumpkin Face Mask. £10 for 75 grams. This is a fresh face mask, fresh from the pumpkin patch. We really have put the whole fruit into this vitamin packed mask. And it's got a note on there. It says, keep me in the fridge. Fabulous. How do we use it? This is what I'm intrigued. Apply this blend of autumnal squash to your face and relax. After 10 minutes, rinse off using circular motions. Feel the ground pumpkin seeds gently scrub to leave your skin revived. Wow. <gasps> okay, okay. And I've just seen something on the back there. Does it work with this? I don't think so. Oh, it does. So if you take any of your packaging bag, it says... Give me a new life. Return this packaging to any UK and Ireland Lush store and receive money towards your shopping. Alternatively, return five qualifying items for a free fresh face mask. So Body Shop used to do a thing like this where if you returned so many bottles, you got like a £5 voucher. I didn't know about that. And I've got so many Lush bottles, haven't I? I think I might need to uh, keep hold of them because I say everyone loves a little freebie. Right, let's have a look at this because it says to keep in the fridge. So best believe after this, it's going straight to the fridge. Okay. Wow. Oh, it smells delightful. If you don't like fresh pumpkin or like imagine being at a pumpkin farm with just like the trees and nature and dirt, you're probably not going to like it. But Oh, that is a thick mask. That is like a paste. <gasps> Why do I suddenly feel like this is what I need to do Halloween evening? Very, very nice. I'm going to go and put this in the fridge after. And I'll have to say to mum, like, please be careful. Because she would probably see it. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, caught my hair there. She will probably see it and think like it's a new type of like lemon curd or a spread or something. And you probably don't want to be ingesting that, do you? Absolutely not. Oh, this is a new one. I love this when I saw this. Oh my God, I had to have it. This is the Screamo bath bomb. Screamo. You already know what it's going to look like, don't you? It's the Screamo bath bomb, and this one was one, two, three, four down. One, two, three, four down. Five pound. I don't think that's too bad. This is a big bath bomb, okay? And I cannot wait to see how this turns my water. But, guys, look at that. And that is a chunky bath bomb. So I'm assuming it is going to turn it a whole midnight blue, fantastic bath. Let me tell you that. Fiverr. 
Oh, what does it say about it? It just says your favourite scary ghoulie. Citric acid, ylang-ylang, almond, rice starch, canaja, whatever that is. It smells very fresh again. A little bit of citrus. I'm getting a bit of vanilla as well. Oh, love that. I've got all my new bath bombs. Oh no, that's just stained my trousers. All my new ones. But I did see when I uh, looked at that online, I was like, oh, that gave me a little chuck with that one because I was like, oh my God. They're apparently remaking Scream. Or like there's going to be another Scream film this year. Like there's supposed to be another Exorcist. Here's my little free sample. Snow Fairy Body Lotion. Look. Have we missed this colour on the channel? Have we missed that scent? But this is a Halloween haul, not a Christmas haul, Shan. So, calm yourself. Hello, chair. I'm going to do that one day and the back legs are just going to completely fall off of this chair, ain't it? Hey, that would make an interesting video. And the last one, my lovelies. This, if you know Lush and their seasons, they will always do like a premium bath bomb which is normally between eight and ten pound and it's normally a larger one something that will have something inside or a little gimmicky um if you remember christmas it was santa sleigh with a little i think it was a bear with him easter we had like a little um carrot boat with the easter bunny and a chicken if i remember they have like these really large quirky ones so this year is ufo and it says, beam up with a three-in-one citrus escape. Now, let me just tell you, this smells blooming divine. It's got citric acid, popping candy, blackcurrant absolute, Sicilian lemon oil, lemongrass oil, and gardenia extract. Very, very strong. However, it is also expensive. This was £8.50, okay? So this is definitely not one that you would use all in one go. The good things with these, though, you can get multiple uses. Oh, oh, is everything falling out? I've got popping candy dropping on the floor. We don't need that. Popping candy should not be dropping on the floor. Oh, no, it's getting stuck to me now. Oh, this is a right palaver, ain't it? So, let's get you back in your little UFO. Let's get you there. So, <laughs> I'm having a nightmare. Looking at it, this is the UFO, my lovelies, okay? Can you see how big this is? So you could dunk this all in as it is. Good to go. But in essence, you've got three because you've got the little lid. And inside, can you see? Canon, don't look at me. I'm going to try and get out of the... <laughs> I can't even get out of the shot and I don't want to tip it. But there is popping candy all inside here, my lovelies. As I say, half of it has just gone on the floor. So I need to scoop that up and put it back in. But this is citrus to a whole nother level. And also with the actual spaceship itself, you could totally crack this in half and get four out of it because it is huge. I want to put some little popping candy bits that have come out of the bag. Let's pop you back in there. There we go. So yeah, you've got your popping candy element. You've got your little top element and then you have your huge main UFO, which as I say, most definitely you could break in half. It don't even fit in the bag, it's that big. Is that why it started to come out? I think so. Let's just, uh, oh God, let's get you in. There we are. Okay, there was popping candy <laughs> everywhere now on my, I was going to say on my bed. Shane, you're not on your bed. can't have it staying on there though because it will stain let's just chuck that in there it's always the messiest ones to end on isn't it my lovelies but as i say that was the big boy of halloween with lush they like to do it i'm looking forward to seeing what their christmas one is i don't think i saw an expensive one on there for christmas yet like the 850 plus santa sleigh last year could they do it this year i don't know but my lovelies we have a table filled. Um, my floor and seat is covered with popping candy. My legs are filled with dust. 
and there is some weird stuff just stuck to me so that means it's been a good lush haul so my lovelies that is another lush haul done for the year our last lush haul will be the christmas one lush is not somewhere i go all the time but i do like to go in the seasons so valentine's they do a few little bits easter time and then halloween and christmas i mean four times when i go and have a little splurge it's not really somewhere i go just to pick up say general bath care bits that's normally like me super jug and me boots you know me for that but if i fancy a little tree or something as a little occasion then lush is where i go i need to try and get back into body shop but I just feel I was put off because of Body Shop's price increases. The shower gels used to be 5 and then they jumped to 6 50 And I was like, I don't know. I will still probably get Body Shop if I go to like outlets. I'm not going to lie. But 6 50 for the little bottles. Especially now when like I can get Imperial Leather and stuff like that for a pound. I have to try and weigh it up. But stuff like this, just for like a seasonal treat, is very, very nice indeed. I don't know what my favourite is. I must say the blood orange shower gel, I'm very impressed with that. I'm looking forward to the scream bath bomb as well. And also lighting the candle. See how that goes. And as I say, the lip scrub, wow, that was just nostalgia 101, which every took me back to. I'm going to have to get mum to look at that and see what she thinks it is. I think it's an ice pole from when I was younger. But who knows? My mind may be a little bit clouded. But my lovelies... That is the end of the haul. As I say, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit from the haul? Have you picked any bits up from the Halloween section? Or is there anywhere else you think I should go? Do boots have a little range? Do super chunk have a range? Let me know if it's in bath care. You don't have to ask your girl twice, do you? No, I kind of get carried away. And I can't wait to use the Mr. Pumpkin face mask. I think that will be very interesting. Will you be purchasing Snow Fairy this year? Let me know that as well as I say. Because I think with the price increases. It may not be as popular. But hey ho. What do I know okay. But as I say. Take care. Stay safe. And I shall see you very soon. For probably another spooky video. Bye guys.